Hybridization, Vesper, yeah, all that stuff you have to know. So carbon is a 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. You really have to know this when you enter in your OCHEM class. It has a Lewis symbol that looks like this. It has four well, kind of unpaired electrons it can bond with. And according to hybridization theory, uh, it will make sp3 bonds, sp2 bonds, and sp, or I should say hybrid orbitals. So uh, if I draw a little energy thing here with the 2s orbital and the 2p, and there's two electrons in the 2s and two in the 2p, does that look vaguely familiar? Yeah, that hybridizes. to form something new that explains the structure, in our case, of carbon. It hybridizes in three ways. It can hybridize all four, so if you mix one of the two S's with all three of the two P's, it can form sp3, with one electron in each. That is an sp3 hybridization. It can form other kinds of hybridization. For example, sp2 where two of the P's mix with one of the S's. One of the two P's stays as is, keeps its electron, and the two S and two of the two P's mix to form an SP2 with one electron in each. That's another type of hybridization. So this is kind of a review of stuff from 2A, but I just wanted to refresh you. Uh, and then another type of hybridization, if one of the, the 2s orbital and one of the 2p's mix to make an sp, each having electrons, and two of the 2p's say, forget it, we're just keeping our electron and staying here. So there's different types of hybridization. The top type gives you single bonds. You might want to note that. Single bonds that are tetrahedral in shape. The next type will give you usually double bonds. The p orbital, the 2p, makes the double bond. And those bond angle, and that's a trigonal planar shape. This is all kind of best for stuff. The last one can give you usually triple, sometimes a double bond. Those 2p orbitals make the double and triple bond, respectively. Uh, and these bond angle, they're linear, 180 degrees. So we've got tetrahedral, trigonal planar, and linear are the three structures to know for uh, carbon. Uh, let me draw those out for you so you can see what they would look like. And then I'll let you go, okay? The SP3 carbon will look like this. Tetrahedral, two are in the plane. One's going towards you, the triangle shaped one, the wedge, and the dash is going away from you into the screen. So carbon can look like this. It can look like sp2, where it uh, has a double bond, and uh, it's trigonal planar, like that. Every, it's completely flat, totally in the plane. One double bond, two single bonds. Or it could look like this, sp, hybridized, where it has a triple bond and a single bond. Uh, and occasionally, but rarely like this, two double bonds. So notice carbon always has four bonds, write that down, always has four bonds, one, it could be one, two, three, four, so a triple and a single, or four singles. Or it could be a double and two singles. So these are the templates for what carbon could look like. Okay, we'll take a little break there and resume next week with organic.